Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are coming at you with a <laughs> video on our two most used pieces in our collection. Ah, uh, gotta love her. So, um, anyway, so the two most used pieces in my collection are my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder in the monogram um, canvas. And the other piece is the Port Neo Porte, something like that. It's a biz, it's the card holder. Um, I'll link the, I'll give you actually the actual name down below, but it is the um, card holder in the monogram print with the black um, leather piece. I don't know how to describe it, but anyways, that's as best as I could do. All right, so anyways, so um, I'll do the card holder first, and then I'll get into the six ring um, key holder, okay? So my card holder, um, I don't really carry that much. So for me and my lifestyle, I don't carry cash, I don't carry coins, but what I do carry is, you know, I just carry my driver's license, my health cards, um, triple a card and maybe a twenty dollar bill if that all right so anyways so i was i have full-size wallets and i have a zippy coin purse but for my purposes um i wanted something that was easy that was compact that i could go from bag to bag to bag especially in my pochette matisse um, and still be somewhat compact and still not necessarily need to worry about making sure that I have everything. Um, so when I was looking at the women's pieces um, for a card holder, I wasn't so crazy about the fact that you only had the one card holder here and then maybe one card holder here with a top, okay? Um, I needed something a little, that had a little bit more, that offered a little bit more card space. So I went and I looked at the men's <laughs> at the men's SLGs and I saw this guy and it was it was just perfect so here in this front pocket is where I usually keep my driver's license it's not in here right now um, and then right behind it I keep a really thin um, my health card okay and then the first one is like a credit card and then three other cards that I have all right um, there is this middle slot as well, which usually carries my um, AAA card as well as um, maybe a $20 bill or, or a little bit of emergency cash um, because <laughs> not every place takes a card, apparently. And then there's a, a little card right here, which sometimes I will just toss in like um, an appointment card or whatever. Um, it just just an emergency type card. I have seen on some um, some of these where they have an initial stamped right here upright, but for me, because I'm so OCD-ish, I didn't want an initial upright and then this piece going that way. Um, it, that just didn't sit well with me, so I just opted just to leave it blank. Um, I could have, I'm sure I probably could have gotten something done up this way, but. Oh, uh, no, I, I, that just, no, I, I didn't like that. So anyway, so that is the card holder. I love it. Um, I've had this now for about six months, I want to say. Um, and again, I've used this every single day since I've purchased it and it is still in really good condition. So, um, again, I can't remember the name of this. I should have done a better job, but Anyway, so that is my card holder from Louis Vuitton in the monogram canvas with the black um, accent. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, all right. So the second piece that I wanted to get into is the six ring key holder. So together, as I mentioned, these are the two pieces that I use every single day. So the six ring key holder, um, it carries my keys um but it does more than that actually so this is what it looks like all right it's one continuous piece of canvas um it is only offered in the monogram canvas all right so on the inside it looks like that i have this piece hot stamped i know i'm so original i always get everything hot stamped with the gold okay 
um, there's the heat stamp and the date code on this is actually under, there's a slide pocket right back here and it is underneath the slide pocket right under here. So it's really hard to get to, but anyways, so <laughs> just figured I'd let you guys know that. I don't know why. But so anyways, so the reason why I wanted a, a key holder is because with as much money as I spent on my bags, I wanted to protect the interior of my bag as well. So I was looking at my different options for um, how to store my keys. So one of the things is I, I looked, I did look at the clays and I compared it on my other clays. And the one thing with the clays is that the the ring, the claspy ring thingy, it doesn't fit through this hole. So I would have had to buy a ring for this and then put it on the on that clasp, which it just made it this piece, my key, a little bit longer than I want it to be. Um, so that when I put it was putting it into my clay, it was just it, it just didn't it was just a little bit bulkier than I wanted. Um, but this actually worked well. Um, I only carry four keys. So when I went in, I originally wanted to look at the four key ring holder, but the four, the four key, excuse me, is just a little bit shorter. So my key, my car key was actually dangling out um, much more than this one is. So if I put this one right in the middle, you'll notice that my key jets out just a smidge, okay? So it's all in the positioning of your keys. So with this one, it has to be a little bit up higher. So it goes like that, and then I angle it in a little bit, okay? So that's how that looks. So when that closes up, my key actually, it will, it actually will do it. Um, it's just the way that it's situated right now, all right? So, so when I close it up, that's what it looks like. So I can't see it anymore. Okay. So what ended up happening is because you cannot remove the extra rings, I actually ended up using the extra ring for those reward cards. Um, this is actually for something else, but, um, I'll actually take it and I'll put the rewards cards on here. That way, like if you're going to the grocery store or to the pharmacy, then it's already in here and more likely than not, if I'm heading to one of those places, then um, I'm probably gonna be driving. So that's that's what I do, okay? Um, again, that is what this looks like. When I travel, and I travel, and I think I may have mentioned it in one of my other videos, and I do travel quite a bit, um, there is a slide pocket back here, as I mentioned, um, and it goes all the way straight through to the other side. So it's open on both sides. Okay. So what happens is when I travel and I end up having to go to at the airport and I get my ticket stub as it's like, kind of like getting stuck back there. All right. Oops. Drop that. Oops. Sorry. All right, so um, I'm just gonna pretend that this is what it is, all right? So pretending that this is the ticket stub that I get at the airport or parking garage or wherever, I will actually take this and I will slide it in the back of the, in back of here, so that when it's time for me to go to leave or to exit, um, then it's easy for me to find and I'm not rummaging through my purse um, or, or, or whatever. And a lot of the parking garages here in the Boston area, um, they require you to pay before you actually get back into your car. So there are pay stations all over the place. Um, so that's the reason why I like this. All right. Um, the second one is what usually when you're in a parking garage, um, they have the levels of where you can park. So I, I'll usually take one of those and I'll slide behind here as well. Um, sometimes I'll take a picture, but on the days that I forget to take the pictures of where I'm parked, then I actually just take that and I slide it back there as well. Okay, so it, everything fits. Um, the other thing is, is that 
I may actually um, take my AAA card and I may slide it, slide that back here as well, or a credit card, or again, um, a little bit of cash, just so that I'll always have something on me and it's emergency cash. So that goes behind here as well. So that when it's time for me to pay um, for my parking, everything is right there. Okay, you can also put your driver's license back there and like I said, that one credit card. Um, but for me, I, I I like this when I'm traveling because when I'm heading from the airplane to the um, back to the garage, then it's just easy for me to um, find everything that I need, especially after when you're gone for a week. <laughs> I'll never remember anything. So at least with this offers a little bit more organization. Okay, so anyway, so that is basically how I use my pieces. So again, if you'll if you notice it folds in a little bit. So I have like the regular old style key. All right, so that is the, well, the way that it looks. Um, this is about a year and a half or two years old already at this point, maybe three. I don't know, but it is still in really great condition. So, and that's what it looks like from the top, okay? Um, and from the bottom, all right? And that's when, how everything is, looks, all right? So again, for me, it's, it's just important for me to protect the inside of my bag. Now, I have dropped this thing a gajillion times. I can't even tell you how many times. And if you'll notice, the button is still brand spanking shiny and there's not that many scratches. I would have thought that there would be more scratches with as many times as I dropped this thing, but <laughs> there's not. The other thing is because it is the um, canvas, the it does curl up a little bit on the edges. So that is something that you're just going to have to come to accept, I guess, because um, there's no way to avoid it, unfortunately, um, especially on a piece they're using every single day. Um, it doesn't bother me. So, as I'm trying to unbend it, <laughs> but anyways, but it doesn't bother me. Um, it just, it's just, it just comes with the territory. So again, um, that is my six ring key holder and my card holder. All right. So let me know what you guys think, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next week.